Playing older games or experiencing older systems can be hard for the average gamer who isn't a serious collector or enthusiast. Emulation is one way around this, but comes with plenty of legal implications. Is it possible to play emulated games from downloaded ROMs without breaking the law? The answers will always depend on the exact laws of the region where you live, but we've put together a list of sites that might offer you a legal way to enjoy retro games. Get some homebrew titles. Cracking a ROM is illegal, as it means you're breaking the copyright management protection in order to access the game. On the other hand, homebrew titles are free and legal to download, by permission of the authors. Sites like NES World and ROM Hacking have entire sections dedicated to homebrew titles, which are just games that developers and enthusiasts have created over the years and have made free for anyone that wants them. This is a great way to find unofficial titles that few other people have played. Look for public domain ROMs. Public domain ROMs are similar to homebrew titles in that they are not copyrighted and anyone that wants can download and play them. PD-ROMs is one of the largest public domain sites on the web with thousands of ROMs for dozens of consoles. You can find titles for everything from the 3DO to the Watara supervision here. Look for abandonware. Abandonware is a gray area in terms of legality. While technically still under copyright, abandonware is defined as content that is no longer distributed or supported by the original creator. In many cases, the creator has gone out of business, so the rights are in limbo. When this happens, it is often classified as abandonware and thought of as free for the taking. However, abandonware can still fall under copyright, which makes downloading a ROM of it illegal. Despite this, many people see abandonware as fair use, as an out of business developer isn't likely to pursue a lawsuit over copyright infringement. It's possible that someone might file a DMCA takedown or pursue legal action, but it's also very unlikely. Pursue abandonware at your own risk. Backup games you already own. If abandonware is a gray area, then downloading ROMs of games you already own is a light gray area. Under US copyright law at least, you have the right to backup an archive software you have already purchased. Obviously this will differ from one country to the next. People in the emulation community have often interpreted this as making it okay to download ROMs for games you own legitimately on cartridge or disc, but the debate goes on. In the end, you're always responsible for ensuring that you stay on the right side of the law. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button and ring the bell while you're at it. You'll get immediate notifications of the latest tips and tricks for your favorite tech. Check out our website for in-depth guides and explainers, and head over to our social media pages if you want to join the online tech tips community. See you next time.